Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to design a nice American flag. Why I'm gonna show you that? Because the American flag has been giving me a legend status in Forza Horizon 3 and also in Forza Horizon 4. So as you can see, here is a design of the American flag. I have several cars with that. Um, I'll show you my creative hub quickly. So as you can see, the American flag is always a good one. I have a lot of downloads on it, always on the American flag itself. So let's have a look how we're gonna design that. Now I will do it as quickly as possible. Let's take an American iconic car for that. Let's see, let's take the Chevrolet, the Bel Air. Let's take that one. Okay, so let's have a look. We're going to design and paint. And then, first of all, we can paint the car, but let's create a vanilla group. So here you need to start. Now, as you can see, if you press, uh, you see press RS, toggle background, you have different backgrounds that you can choose off. I took this one. Now, the best thing what you can do is go into Google, take an American flag and measure the sizes of everything that you need so let's go have a look we're gonna start with the uh, the blue one so let's have a look we're gonna take the blue one now the measurements i took are different probably from yours but always start here in the middle and take the measurements that you can see here so basically my flag will be 5 on 3.5 so we do it like this and then 3.5 there you go so this is the start we're going to change the position for now oh with a gamepad it takes longer than with a mouse but that's okay so let's put the flag here for now There you go. Then let's go over to the stripes. So what I measured, we, take, we start with the red stripe. The size of my stripe itself is, the first one will be six and a half and it will be on zero point fifty. So this is basically the first stripe uh, of the measurement I took from Google. So now let's move this one. There you go. Now you need to look very good. That is okay. Okay, so we move that. Now what can you do? You need to press Y so you can stamp it. Then lower it. There you go. Now change the color to a white one. And then move it a little bit up that it's nice connected to the red one. Now you do not always see it, I see a little space, so we need to go a little bit up, there you go, and then do this. Then go back to the red one, change position, press Y, stamp, move it down, there you go, and then there you go. Now what you need to do is select, select select group change position stamp there you go now this one goes down here now you can ungroup this go back to the white one change the position stamp and move it up there you 
there you go so this is basically the first stripes now you can select everything and then group there you go so this is a start now we're gonna go for the next one so now we need the white one the size here is for me also 0 0.50 but it depends on what you measured yourself and i'm going to 12.75 now it's not easy the thing there we go then we're gonna move this one well this is a little bit too long we're gonna resize it a little bit and here again just a little bit more it's not 100% the measurement I have on my paper but if I need to do everything really really perfect I'll have a video of uh, more than a half hour and I do not want to do that so there you go this is the first long line now what you need to do is stamp move it down there you go then press X take your red again now select these two group and then you need to change position stamp put it like this there you go so how many start how many swipes do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we need one more stamp there you go move it there you go now select these three and group so here we have already this one now we need the stars now we have 50 stars that we need so let's take a star make it white the size of for me is 40 is a good size on this one there you go now move and there you go now put it a little bit in position uh, this is also something you need to take a little bit more time for now stamp go down that's two three four five now as you can see this one oh this one is too much there you go now you need to get the stars in position there you go then we're gonna select the stars group and we need it six times so change position stamp one two three that was not good so i need to stamp try not to move up or down stamp and one more so we gotta put this one in position then we're gonna move this one a little bit Now, if you want the stars to be perfect, you will have to take your time for it. There you go. So now we have these. 
Now we're gonna stamp the first one. And I'm gonna put it here. Then we're gonna ungroup. And we're gonna group this again, these four. Group. Now we're gonna move it. And we're gonna put it in position. So we have our 50 stars. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Now that we have all stars, we're gonna group every star again, all the lines. There you go. Group. Now we're gonna select this one, this one, this one, and this one and group so this is basically the american flag uh the stars you need to do you need to take your time for it that they are actually very decent and the stripes also because i can see that uh my bottom line uh, stripes are not 100 percent on it now if you have done that you can always save it here you go you just save it and you can share it now I'm going to exit because I already have one. So let's paint the car. Here, for example, we can press X and then mm, let's take a special color. And if you press X, you can actually change the color. So let's go make it a special Rats. Let's save that for now. So what you can do now is you have your own American flag. We gonna apply and then load a vanilla group. There you go. Here is an American flag. Loads. And then we're going to resize it. And then you can basically just put it anywhere that you like. Um, for example, well, I don't know. Let's just put it here. Let's move it like here. There you go. Um, we can, for example, put one on the hood. Or on the roof, that's also nice. Now I'll put one here. I'll stamp it. And I'll put one here just uh, to show something. The difference, as you can see, the flag looks good on uh, a matte, uh, matte paint and also on uh, a nice lac paint. Let's save it. There you go. Now let's go out of the garage. I need to go out of here, otherwise I'm going to get a claim. Just go here. So there you go. That's how you make an American flag. I'll go quickly in the drone mode so that we can see it. There you go. This is the American flag. Just take your time for the stars and the stripes, that they are really good. Yeah, if you zoom in, it doesn't look that good, but that's, that's just the game. That doesn't have to do with uh, the thing. But that's it. So if you want to design an American flag, just pause my video from time to time and then you know what to do. I hope this video helped you designing a flag. I can assure you the American flag gave me two times legend painter. 
in Forza Horizon 3 and Forza Horizon 4. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you can design an American flag now or any other flag so you know, you know what to do. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.